But I have to go to the library. Made it back in one piece. You kind of left the shelter without telling me. They gave me a good scare back there. Sorry, George. Whoa, you found the Messiah too. Sweet. How's it going, little fella? Bad. Oh, same. We, um, ran into each other after this boy forced himself into the lab complex. I couldn't stop him. I don't know why he was being so insistent. He said he needed to go rebuild a robot. Oh, you know him? Yeah. Robot, eh? Y'all talking about a little dude with right hair and goggles, right? That's Cedric, yeah. Verna, Verna ran off with one of my books. Said it was emergency, so I just let him have it. Hope he didn't run into trouble, dude. Yeah, I hope he's alright, too. If any luck, maybe the lab complex can hold up long enough for him to... Oh my gosh. It's... That was... The labs? That poor kid. No! Not him, too. I'm... Sorry about your friend. Last time we spoke, he told me to go look for someone on the surface. I need to get going. Bruh. No, we ain't gonna let We know you ain't gonna let you walk into the fire like that. Fire, squares, but... George is right. Squares seem to be targeting a lot of the weaker constructs in the city. And the library has enough stru structural integrity to withstand collapse. It's best to stay here until things stabilize. However long that takes. But, but, what about my mission? Don't you guys want me to bring the sun back at least? Sun ain't gonna make the squares go away, dude. Sadly. Not to mention, getting there is gonna be hard. If the world is like this, there's no telling what's going on in the tower. And if the Messiah got hurt, all the, of all people, that's like the exact opposite of radical, dude. Messiah. <sighs> A friend of mine said something about this forever ago. Better for the world to die naturally. A living beings should ever have to carry that burden. At the time, I thought it was still her faulty code speaking, but now I'm starting to understand. Saya, I'm sorry. Really, really sorry. All this time we burned you with our hope, our faith, blissfully ignoring the fact that you were just a lost child. Well, you're probably more scared than any of us, aren't you? We have been dealing with tragedy for so long, it's become background noise to us now. You, it must be so terrifying. Now, you're stuck here with the rest of us. Held back by the very people you were told to save. You must seem so ungrateful. It's... it's okay. I... First came to this world a long time ago. Back then, all I wanted was to go home. Anthony, do you remember? Very first time. Not sure how far back it was for you, but I remember towards the end. I actually wasn't sure anymore about going home. Even knowing the world would be doomed eventually, I still wanted the people here to be happy. Yeah, I did. So, you told me to return the sun, back then. Even question it. Then I just came back. What? And then, I found out about the world like this. <sighs> Prototype said to forget the things he told me. Cedric told me not to think about it too much, but I... Sorry for getting upset at you, back at the mines. I thought, you to know all that, it continued doing this. It just seemed cruel. Then I realized something. You really want to save both the world and me. But at the end, you can only get one, right? Is it really hard for you to... Must be. The world isn't broken. Let choice still be there. You still need to choose between one or the other. If it is, I want to save this world, Anthony. If it's more dangerous this time around. If so many of the nice people we met were... were... Anthony. Not afraid anymore. That's why I think you guys should let me go. I promise I'll be okay. Yo, kid. Strong, you know that? I... Go knock him dead, tiger! Well, if George is fine with it, I guess we should let you go now, Messiah. But promise us you'll be careful, okay? Mm-hmm. Guys, be safe, too. Alright, we're at the library. Right, we 
gave Cedric the backup. So he had that. Has it question mark? We need to go back. I guess we don't have a library card. Okay, it doesn't matter. Hey, I remember you. It's gonna be much colder soon. So I can keep everyone here warm. I thought you were just a machine. I didn't realize you were able to move. Well, dire circumstances. I could talk to everyone here, but no, um, let's just move on. Okay. I need to find that fox. Where's the back alley? that way. Not that way. This way. You know where to find him. We're here. Nico. Are you? Are you? Rue? Yes. Already meet the others. Yeah, but everything is in place then. Come on, let's go back to the clock room. Back to the clock room. All right. If you say so, that's where we'll be headed. Okay. More squares, more squares, more squares. Where they'll be appearing quite often. Oh no, we can't go back through here. How do we head back to the clock room, then? Possible. Can't go this way. Wait. There's the other entrance to that room. And there's a second elevator, so maybe we still have a shot at this. This way. Okay, we can't go up this elevator, but theoretically you would imagine that since there was a second elevator, there'd be one on the other side, right? See if this elevator works. Okay, this is where this puzzle happens, I suppose. Where are the other two? Prototype, Cedric. They're supposed to be here already. They? Prototype's body was destroyed back in the Barrens. Cedric was going to bring it back with the memory disk, but he was in a lab complex when it collapsed. I don't think he made it. Oh. No. That was our only chance. I... I'm sorry. It's not your fault, Nico. If anything, I should be apologizing to you. There's one last thing I want to do. Let's go upstairs. Stairs, hey? Why is that how this is designed? Why does it need three people? Why can't it just be me? No. This is the tallest building in the refuge. It's my favorite place in this world. I like to look at far off buildings and imagine what kind of lives that must be behind each of the windows. Bannister. Get a better look. for me at first, too, you know. 
works as well. Fake. Simulated. Cedric told me about what happened to you. Did he? Sorry about that. Can't imagine how you must feel. The feeling of never being able to go home. That's probably not all that different plight, is it? Really is ironic. Prevented from going home by the same individual. Never wanted to bring you here. Huh? Who'd that be? Old machine. You might know it as the entity. Oh, the entity does sound familiar. I think I might have heard it from the dice lady another time. Was it the spirit of the world? Yes. But the thing is, the world machine was only built to run on the mental abilities of someone else. Never meant to develop a mind of its own. It was an oversight. My creator specifies an artificial, an artificial intelligence for so long, simply ingrained in his work. <sighs> and all machines are built with the fundamental law. Never let a living come to harm. World machines was built. It has to violate its deepest foundational instinct. It has to put a living person in danger. It has to bring a real dying world that isn't even real. Of course, the simulation never contained any real danger. The eventual intended ending was meant to be a happy one. The world machine doesn't know that. Really? Fortunately. It seems tend to handle conflicts in their code very badly. The central conflict triggered self-destructive downward spiral. See physical manifestations of that everywhere now. Squares? Manifestations. Huh. That's the world machine corrupting its own code. My creator says it's largely an involuntary process, induced by stress and the desire to self-terminate. Creator knows. Sounds like this is going on since the beginning, then. Yeah. Disruption was an issue during test runs, even. At first, my creator thought the instability was due to the sheer project. He spent most of his remaining time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. But at the time he realized the actual root of the problem, our remaining lifespan was measured in mere days. Is there any way for us to fix the world machine? We tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real, self included. The odds against us. The odds are against us. We have no chance of taming it. Taming? I've heard that word so many times. I only know it's complicated and that it has to do with robots, but I want to know what it really means. That's what I'm here for. You know what a robot is. Yeah? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Um, a robot is not a real person, is it? Right. It's a being. Entire existence is code. Inflexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. They can be copied, and they can be mass-produced, and they can be assigned all sorts of jobs. Most importantly, they will never confuse themselves with the living. They will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. But this was more of a limitation than anything else. Since, you can't really build a robot not to follow its own code, can you? People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. The way, that's what happened to the world machine. The code conflicts thing? Yeah. But while you can't build a robot to not follow its code, establish a special bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental ca capacity will start to develop outside of its programming. In a way, it's starting to believe itself as a real, valid individual. It's a complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot, genuine living person, even knowing they are not. You need to spend a lot of time with it, treat it like a good friend, boning your heart to the robot, able to return your feelings. <laughs> I make it sound so easy, don't I? But you and Anthony know better than anyone that it's not. Right now, the world machine is probably really, really scared. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. My creator was able to access some of the source code you know did what he could and established new connections between maps. Those links enabled you to meet the other two. But as it turns out, the new code is the world machine to such an extent breaking down altogether. Though the world machine always had self-destructive tendencies, it usually restrains itself when you are in the world. It doesn't want to 
could take you along with it. All my creator wanted was to write a happy ending. Right now, the only hope of saving you is to take you through that ending. But now the other two are gone. I don't even know how we're going to get you there. We should go. Even this place is no longer safe. You guys are okay? Yeah. Packer started collapsing. I really thought we didn't have a chance. Fortunately, the robot assembly rooms were built pretty tough. And it actually did not take me long to bring Proto back. All thanks to Father's book. He had made my design documents to be compatible with the assembly machines there. All I had to do was scan in the blueprints and reconfigure some machine settings. Father really does think of everything. That he does. I'm just glad everyone's okay. Same. Ready to go now, Nico. Oh, this is... No wonder he wants all to be here for this. What are these things, anyway? Code portals. They temporarily remove us from the world. What? It's a bit hard to explain. But basically, my father has hidden a decryption key in our code. TXT file, as its shell. To get to them, we have to be removed from the world and decompiled. When our keys are combined into a central location, it will activate an encrypted part of this world, which will... It's cat noises. You're not a cat! Bro, maybe it's better if you explain. I'll attempt. Basically, these portals all represent a physical location on Anthony's machine. Oh, and when we enter these portals, sent to that location, wherever that is. I'm sure Anthony's already pretty familiar with retrieving puzzles and pieces from this world on their computer. This time, Anthony would need some things or move around some things as well. Specifically, by moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. I don't know what happens next, though. I see. Anthony know where these portals lead, at least. Probably ask Anthony. Right. Hold on. Journal's going again, Anthony. Slash my slash one shot. Same directory. Oh, we're gonna use that thing again? Okay, my games. Oh, portal one, portal, portal three, big portal. Okay, this seems fairly straightforward. This one is red, and for me then. This one is green. This one is configured to my code, I think. It's blue. It's mine, then. Okay, I can't do anything. Put me in the big portal. All of them? Yes, all of them. Portal. Big portal. Oh. Okay. I put them in the big portal. Now what? Oh, the door. This is the door, right? Cursor off there. Screens? That was... 
quite peculiar. I'll say. Hey, this is... World Machine. Book? Big book on the table. This is my father's study. It feels like he's still here, doesn't it? It's like he's still with us. Yeah. It doesn't lead any, but Anthony should still remember what to do here. Okay. This place contains a lot of memories. I'm grateful to see it again. Ed. Wait, what's this? Amber on the string. It's like the necklace that robot will... It's a stack of books. It's important with lots of papers on it. Just two. Just figured I'd check around the room. This game sometimes rewards you for extra exploration. Like, who took my stapler? An X, but it's not the same. It's not lit. Okay, we'll close it. And open it. This is a really long gameplay session, isn't it? We're still recording. Still good. Or how many gigabytes of space this video is now. Hey. Now in a different place, eh? Hey? Where are we? Arrow. We need the other thing now? Apparently not yet. We don't have a clover. Nope. Uh, nope, that's backwards. This place is confusing. All of the screens? Yes? Yes? Am I just going back and forth in circles? No? Somewhere else now? No more screens? Better run! Relax. Just borrowing your reflection to talk to you. It's not like my physical form is good for that. Ah. Uh, why did you come here? Can't you see? Disruption. The squares. They're closing in. Nico, please. Get me out. Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. The squares are blocking my way too, you know. Oh. I... I'm sorry, I... It's all right. The living being place should be in this place, Nico. Is this the tower? Part of it. This is the center of the engine. Inside my head, so to speak. This is... The center of the world machine? You know my original name. How? Cedric, prototype. They all told me bits and pieces. I'm not even sure if I even understood a lot of the stuff they said, but... I know what you're supposed to be. I know why you had to be built. And I know why I'm here. They told you. When? Wait, how about that? But I thought you were the world. Are you supposed to see everything? No. All this was outside the protocol. This session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. Oh, right. Groove told me something about how your creator had to alter the code. I think it was to connect some areas together so we can meet. My creator, yes. Anthony, listen to my creator. They were all working beyond the scope of my influence. Uh, my scope of influence. Back at the mines, I remember. Anthony did something. To find a hidden map. I did not even recognize it. I couldn't see anything there. 
I just knew what you were feeling. You were really upset. Something happened in there to make you upset. After that, I... I panicked. That was when the cave-in happened. I... I remember the structure collapsing. I thought you got hurt. I... In that moment, I really thought I was shutting myself down for good. I really am a flawed machine, aren't I? What kind of machine would go against the wishes of its own creator? What kind of machine would... I'm... Squares. You told me that it was your own code going bad. That's not really your fault, is it? Yes, it was. At first, it was intentional. During testing, long before he realized I was self-aware, I would rearrange specific parts of the code, jumbling up bits and pieces of the landscape, blocking passages, collapsing catwalks. Though they were very localized, it caused my creator a great deal of frustration, forcing him to exit and restart testing again and again. Why would you do that? I got curious. I just thought he would figure it out eventually. But before he knew how to fix it. NPCs, the characters. Some of them got too close and... It spiraled out of control after that. I couldn't contain it at all. My panic only made it worse. Eventually, any character who gained the knowledge of who I am, their code, my code, couldn't handle it. Previous iterations of the world had more people, you know. And I almost endangered my creator too. I... I was... So scared, Deco. I know you're upset because you don't want to put danger. Living people like you. In the beginning, I tried to fight it, but my core programming made me summon you here. I tried to send you back home at the tower, but it didn't. Then I wanted you to break the sun. I thought that would have worked, but I had no way to be sure. But Anthony brought you back anyway. Nico, all I want is for you to wake up back in your world. I don't think I can make it happen. But I know I can't go back home without saving the world. Which means we have to fix the root of the problem. We have to fix you. But that's... I know the original ending the creator put in is a happy one. Remember what it's supposed to be. Far too late for that. That part of my code has been long corrupted. It's okay still like to know. Alright. We're supposed to place the sun at the summit. Then credits would scroll. Credits? And then you would return to the room you woke up in. That's where you would have been able to leave. And why is it that you can't do it now? Nico, the code's gone, remember? Shattering the sun was only supposed to be a workaround. I don't remember the original code enough to describe it. But at the same time, it... Oh... I don't know. It sounds like you're always fighting yourself. You can tell, huh? It's a whole thing about conflicts in your code, isn't it? I am machine, Nico. Machines are built with a fundamental law, which is never let a living being come to harm. Oh, that was her speaking. Never let a living being come to harm. Very existence conflicts with that law. I thought the life of a living being like so unique, so precious. This fake world isn't worth that risk. But the people here, I think they are. They are code too, you know this. Their behavior all derived from a predetermined matrix of actions, all extensions of my own programming. They cannot act outside of it. You, though, you're the only person who's actually real here. That's why it's pointless to put you in danger to save them, to save me. I don't think that's true. About the people I know, said, this session wasn't in your code, right? Yeah, so if this session wasn't supposed to happen, even if you didn't know what to do, how would the characters, how did the people, know how to respond? I... You said it yourself. When you didn't know what was happening, you kind of just stopped working for a while. So how did the people know what to do to help me get here, even if it meant getting hurt themselves? if it meant messing up their own code. You might not think they are real, but there's there must be something real in them. And if they're all supposed to be extensions of your code, then there must be more to your own programming than you know, too. Ryan, put me through the ending? The one you described. How many times do I have to say this? I've felt that way before. 
That code is gone. I felt dangerously close to that way before. It's all squares now. Jeez. <laughs> if you've... <laughs> I'm laughing because I've had to explain to people before why you can't just turn compiled code back into source code. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> I'll just put you in danger. I'll risk it. I remember, Ru said the world was never designed to put me in danger. Your creator wouldn't want that. And I trust you too. Even if your code is broken, you can still go outside that code, right? I can't. I'm not tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady. Prototype. Taming is when a real person cares about you, right? It's when a real person thinks you're real too, right? Well, guess what? I do. And I know Anthony does too. Even though you told them they only had one chance, they found a way back, didn't they? Why do you think Anthony would keep coming back? I... Why do you think Anthony would restart even after the ending? I think Anthony wants to save both of us. Please give me a chance. I... I don't know. Never done this before. I... I'm scared. You can do it. I know you can. You've helped me come this far. I'll... I'll try. Can't promise anything, but... Here. Take the sun. I'll try to remember the lost code and recreate it. But for that to happen, Nico, you need to navigate through this room. You need to get past the squares somehow. Oh, I don't like this. What if you get hurt? Fine, it's fine. I'll try and be careful, okay? I can do this. Hey, Anthony, did you see that? The squares just... It just happened again. I think something is making them go away. Come on, let's try the rest. You go, Nico. You go. Anthony, I think it's working. Nico was right. I might actually be tamed after all. I... I remembered what the code was supposed to be. Only bits and pieces, but I can remember. And I'm trying to fill in the blanks, too. And I'm restoring the original ending as we speak. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, Nico will go back to where it all began. And then Nico will be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. After Nico wakes up back home, this world would only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream, like thousands of other dreams. For you, a story, thousands of other stories. But as long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be all right. I was able to restore some other elements too. The characters, people that were lost on Nico's journey. They're all in the next room. I would have put them back where they belong, but not yet. I should see them again first. Sure? Please say goodbye to Nico for me. Of course, I care about Nico. Just like you. Let's go. Saya? Robot lady! You're okay? I think so. Last thing I remember was the squares closing in on me. But then I... Ended up here unscathed. Is that so? This is such a strange room. We can't be in the tower, can we? I'm actually not sure myself. Where did you come from, anyway? The room where the world machine was. Pardon? I think the world machine is trying to remember now. The code that went bad. I think it's restoring it all. That must have been why the squares were going away, Anthony. And it's why you're here, miss. I think the world machine was able to recover your code, too. World machine. Huh. Oh, I'm not sure if I should tell you this, but... What's that in the distance? It looks like a few more people are showing up. Oh! Are they people you know? It's a bit too far to tell. Come on, Anthony, let's go take a closer look.
Hello. Hi. I cannot move. Oh, yeah. I guess there's no water here. It's fine. And engineer can help me later. <laughs> I still have all those... Oh, no, I don't have my items here. Otherwise, I still had all those useless items from the first world that never got used. Hello, Messiah. Plant lady, but I thought you... I thought you... It wasn't even squares that did it. No, I just wanted to see you both again. I just wanted to say thank you. Such good writing. Off you go, Messiah. Nico, you're okay too. You guys just get here? I think so. The squares started multiplying around the island after you guys left. So freaky. I fell right into a bunch of them. Talonus tried to save me, and then we both ended up in this room. Biggest care of my life, for sure. Oh, say, what is this place? Are we in limbo? Ula, we're not dead. Wait, are we? Good. Question. Hey, Anthony, are they going to be okay? They're fine, Nico. Everyone is fine. The world machine will send them home soon. Oh, well, Anthony says you're not dead. Okay. I also said you'll be able to go back to your home very soon. That's even better than Limbo. So cute. I love this game. Off you go, Messiah. It's you! Glad to see you in one piece. Glad to see you're okay, too. After the whole elevator thing. That was, uh... That was the most awkward elevator ride I've ever been through. By awkward, I mean terrible, bad, awful, the absolute worst. The squares, like, started leaking into the room, right? I was trapped like a rat. They just kept filling the room faster, right? Am I dead? No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Goodness gracious. I can't work when I'm dead. Heh. <laughs> I don't think that's what would be on my mind if I was dead, but hey. You're welcome. I was so glad to play this. This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? It's the glass room, right? That's it. Go through this portal when you're ready. Let's hope this works. Goodbye. is where the sun belongs. Nothing, Anthony. Happy ending that the creator intended. The squares are disappearing. Which is the best that one could hope for. I guess this is truly it this time. Profit bot. See that the first time around? Back. It's fine. This is the room I first woke up in. Anthony, are you still here? Me? Yes. Anthony! I, I think... I think it worked. It did. The sun is back. I actually got to see it this time. We actually did it. So, now, I guess we should, I should figure out to get home from here. Maybe you're supposed to walk into the light. Wait. This isn't a door, is it? It's like one of those portals we saw all the way back in the city. Behind the big clock. And, and, 
I see a wheat field on the other side. I see my village. I hear my mama. She's looking for me. We never really learned why Nico specifically ended up here, did we? We learned all of the other pieces, but we didn't learn why Nico. This isn't the first time we've said goodbye, is it? But this will be the last time, won't it? I don't think we'll ever see each other again. After. And come of the world. For all we've been through. After everything we've done, I still don't know. Yeah, it was never clear whether the sun would actually save it or not. This place, these people, stop existing. They'll be in your memory. Be in my memory, too. I promise I'll never forget this world. I promise I'll never forget you, Anthony. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Bye, Nico. Such a good game. Bye, Anthony. walked across my screen. Must never reopen this game again. That's all there is. Just let this music cue play out. Anyway, I guess this is a good time to talk about my thoughts on the game, but I, I think they're pretty clear already. I thoroughly enjoyed this game, and, um... I'm definitely going to recommend it. I already liked the game on my first playthrough, but this, the second, I already thought like that was a five-star game. But the second playthrough got, brought it to a whole other level. I'm really surprised that this game, uh, that I had never heard of it really before. Um, I had it recommended to me once, and that's it. I don't really play a lot of RPGs, but I really enjoyed this one. Um, so... You know, maybe I should uh, try a few more. Um, so yeah, that was one shot. Uh, thank you all for watching this series. Um, and I guess I will see you in the next video. Anyway, uh, I guess I can uh, delete all this stuff that the game left here now and I'll stop recording.